I was debating on whether or not I should do a part three on this story, but the interest is overwhelming. Oh, not to mention, I just couldn't get or piece ever the testimony from BG Nock, who said while in the studio with Easy that some African Muslim people came in and he met with them. We'll just read about it in this article. Here are one of the testimonies from BG Nock. Before everything hit the fan with Eric and Jerry Heller, these brothers from the Nation of Islam from Chicago, some of Minister Louis Farrakhan's right-hand men, came to see Easy. We was at Ruthless Records and these dudes walked up in the office, just stormed in one day while we was in there. Nobody had no idea they were coming. They stormed in the office into Jerry Heller's office and told Eric to come here. Eric got up into the conference room they were in there for like two or three hours. And I swear, when they came out of there, Eric had a different look on his face. He seemed like he was shook up about something. And like a week or so later, he started firing Jerry and the rest of Heller's relatives and ruthless. He fired Jerry Heller, he fired Terry Heller, he fired Gary Ballin, and they were all family. Jerry and Terry is brothers. Gary is their cousin. I could pin it together after hearing and reading all of the information that I could get my hands on. I couldn't put it together. Who was connected to the Muslim people? But after watching the movie, it came clear. Ice Cube is the one connected to the Nation of Islam. So that makes him a suspect. Always the one who you least suspect. Here's a brief bio of Ice Cube. Oshia Jackson, born June 15, 1969, better known by his stage name Ice Cube, is an American rapper, record producer, actor, and filmmaker. He began his career as a member of the hip hop group CIA and later joined the seminal gangster rap group NWA, Niggas with Attitudes. After leaving NWA in December 1989, he built a successful solo career in music and films. So ask yourself, why did Eazy e have a meeting with these people? Who sent them? Why shortly after their meeting, he fired Jerry? Why did the Nation of Islam lock down Ruthless Records? These are the questions that we should be asking ourselves, but let's get back to Ice Cube. Ice Cube is the only member of all the other members who was affiliated with the Nation of Islam. Makes you think. Is it a coincidence that someone dressed as a Muslim killed Biggie, who also tried to get Tupac to convert, but he refused? Another clue. Guess who met with these people prior to their deaths? Ice Cube. So the question is, why would the Nation of Islam would want to kill Biggie, Easy e and maybe even Tupac? Why do they want to kill all of these black rappers? Hmm. So again, why are the Nation of Islam murdering all of these individuals? Or are they being instructed to do it by their co-members? Well, not just an easy E, we have to examine Biggie because they're tied together. Take a look at this article about the conspiracy surrounding Biggie's murder.